Hey, welcome back to Roscoe Reviews. For my job, I do apartment maintenance. So at certain times of the year, I can be required to paint a bunch of apartments in a week or even several apartments in the same day. So to make that process go a little bit faster, I got a power roller. This one is a Sidekick by Wagner. I just picked it up this week and I was excited to try it out. So here's how it went. When I'm repainting apartments, I'm typically painting them the same color that they already were. So it might be a little bit difficult in the video to tell how well this covers. I will admit that I was skeptical at first, but after playing with it for just a few minutes, it was pretty obvious that I was going to be able to paint these apartments faster than I would with a traditional roller and tray. The hose on the Wagner Power Roller is about 15 feet long, so what I did was set a 5 gallon bucket on my painting cart that I usually take around with me, and I was able to just push the cart into the middle of each room, and I can paint the entire room without having to relocate any of my stuff. Since the pump pushes the paint out from the inside of the roller, the specialized roller has little holes all over the inside and it pushes it out into little dots. You can see where the, the little dots have left little drips on the wall after your first pass, so then you have to roll back over it again without the pump running to smooth it out. But on that second pass, you get a nice smooth even coat. Here I'm doing a quick time trial to see how long it takes to actually paint an entire wall. I like to paint the whole top half and then go back and paint the bottom half to save from bending over and standing back up all the time. If you had a longer extension on your roller, you could do the whole thing top to bottom in one pass and it might even save you a little bit more time. Okay, that wall took me five minutes. Okay, I've been using my Wagner Power Roller all day today. I'm now on my fourth apartment that I've painted and I'm exhausted. But I will say there are pros and there are cons to the Power Roller. The definite big pro is since you don't ever have to dip the roller, it goes pretty fast. Like I said, I'm painting my fourth two bedroom apartment today and it goes a lot quicker than using a standard roller and dipping it in the tray. One con is it is about three times as heavy as a normal roller. so. After doing this all day, my arms are completely exhausted. Dragging the cord around hasn't been too bad. The only thing you really got to watch out for is bumping the cord against the wall. You can see I've got paint on my hose here. It's from while I'm rolling it. If, I, if you don't hold on to the cord, then you can bump it against the wall and it'll end up getting wet paint all over it. I was really worried that the roller would be all drippy, like when I was pushing the button that it would uh, be dripping paint out the ends and stuff, but it's been really good about that. I haven't hardly had any drips at all uh, fall on the floor, so it's been pretty good. When you're pushing the button, when you push it once, it starts the pump, and then you push it again to stop it so you don't have to hold the button the whole time while you're rolling. The cleanup was also really easy. I just filled up one side of the sink and let it pump water through it until the water was coming out clear on the other side, and it just took a couple of minutes. Overall, I really liked using the Wagner Sidekick. It made it go a lot faster. I think it is totally worth it if you're going to be doing quite a bit of painting all in the same color. If you're just going to paint one room, it's probably not worth getting it out and just use a regular roller. But if you're going to paint your entire house, or in my case, several apartments, then it was definitely worth it. I will put a link for the Wagner Sidekick in the description down below the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you back here next time.